Hi, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we will be discussing about stretches. Many number of people have asked me, which is the best stretch that I need to do? Is the stretch really helpful? And why is the stretch such an integral part of any physiotherapy rehabilitation program? In today's video, we will try our best to answer a few of those questions and make you understand which stretches is the best for what and which stretch can you do. Stretching exercises have traditionally been included as part of a training and recovery program. A lot of evidence shows that physical performance in terms of maximal strength, number of repetitions and total volume are affected differently by each form of stretches. What does stretching do? In simple term, stretching improves the flexibility and range of motion and does so quite effectively and reliably. However, what stretching actually does on the muscular and neural level is an area that is less well understood and still is under significant research. Various theories have been proposed to explain how there's an increase in the muscle extensibility observed after stretch. Does stretch really increase your performance? In general, it is accepted by most researchers that increased flexibility is a positive property for sports, preventing injury and overall well-being. Now let's look at the different type of stretches. The static stretches, the dynamic stuttches, the elastic stretches, the proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation or the PNF stretches and the muscle energy techniques. Stretching can help you improve your flexibility and range of motion. It also helps you improve improve your performance in physical activity and decreases your risk of injury. It helps you move your joint through the entire range of motion. It also enables your muscles to work more effectively and as well as at an optimal level of efficiency. Now in a day to day life, we would have definitely done some or the other kind of stretches. A lot of findings says that the static stretches is the most common type of stretching one does. It is done tending a particular muscle group to its maximal point and hold it for around 30 seconds or more. Now there are two different kinds of static stretch. You have the active stretch. Active stretch is a stretch which is done by the individual or the patient himself. A passive stretch is a stretch which is performed by the therapist on the patient, which gives an increased intensity. Static stretching has a relaxation and elongation effect on a muscle. It improves your range of motion and decreases the musculotendinous stiffness and also reduces your risk of muscle strain or injury. It is a slow control movement with emphasis on postural awareness and body alignment. This type of stretching is suitable for all the types of patients. Dynamic stretching requires the use of continuous movement patterns that mimic the exercise or the sports to be performed. Generally speaking, the purpose of dynamic stretch is to improve your flexibility for a given sports or activity. It involves moving the part of your body and gradually increasing the reach, the speed of the movement or both. Do not confuse yourself with the dynamic stretches and the elastic stretches which we'll be talking in the future. Dynamic stretches consist of controlled leg and arm swing that takes you to the limit of your range of motion gently. But elastic stretch involves trying to force a part of the body beyond its range of motion. In dynamic stretches, there is no bounce or jerky movement. Dynamic stretches helps you restore your function and your neuromuscular control through repeating and practicing movement. Thus, enhancing your motor control. Dynamic stretches is sometimes considered preferable to static stretches in the preparation for a physical activity or in your warming up or cooling down period. The next is the ballastic stretch. The ballastic stretches includes rapid alternating or bouncing at the end range of motion. This type of stretches is, is typically used for athletic drills and utilizes a 
bouncing movement usually trigger a stretch reflex and can even cause injury if it's not done the right way. They can safely be performed if done from a low velocity to a high velocity and preceded by a static stretch. The whole process is doing 10 short repetition holds rather than one long like the one in the static stretch. Each time you do this stretch, make sure to breathe in and exhale during the stretch. This is the proper way of breathing which allows you to pump more oxygen through the body and increases your circulation. So in today's video, we have completed the different types of stretches. Why is it important? Now, in our next video, we'll be talking about the PNF and the MET stretches.